<laughs> so Marcus has already decided on day two that he is putting himself in a drinking van because when he drinks too much, um, he apparently farts a lot and is toxic. Honestly, you, you, you have no idea out there how bad it is, but it's bad. So Marcus is now on day two pulling out of the drinking race. So he's, he's giving up, he's quitting, he's a loser, I think. Which is pretty bad for a motivational thing. <laughs> he, he motivates himself to come second. Tell us about his hunting. About his what? Well, yeah, betting. <laughs> so Marcus uh, has placed a bet in every club that has a TAV machine in it, and um, he's lost everyone in the in the actual club itself. He has claimed a couple of winners on the Irish Shelf or the UK Open and golf and the Manny Pacquiao fight, but mostly those were very low wins compared to his very high losses. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's gonna try and redeem that for the rest of the trip, but he's still gonna be um, not drinking, which means I'm the only one drinking because but James is driving and obviously can't. And both Marcus, who's a pussy, I won't drink. And then, so it's just me drinking and Marcus betting. So we'll see how it goes all the way, the rest of the way to Sydney. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm from Wexford in Ireland, and I am gonna take you on a trip my mates and I are going from Melbourne to Sydney and I'm going to drink in every pub along the way. So come with us and let's see what it looks like, you pack of wankers. How you doing? Walking distance from car is a bit too high, so it's so yeah. Give me up park there again. <laughs> Stay behind, stay, stay back. Let's make a move, let's go for it. Let's go, let's go for it. <laughs> it's an omen, it's gonna be a good day. That would have been the best you actually lost it. <laughs> After all that, I don't know. <laughs> it is Pause. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is closed. Trying to be. So this is the third pub out of five in vanilla that is closed and uh, disappointing us. So yeah, not much, not much good. So I guess we're just moving on to the next place because this one is crap. Thanks for nothing, vanilla. <laughs> it's the only thing vanilla has is the most expensive beer we've had on the trip so far. Thanks, vanilla. You prick. 
McDonald's. Oh, why? For fucking ever. What happened? I know they forgot how to serve customers. Really? Yeah, there was like 10. Jesus. I feel like that guy. <laughs> there was like 20 people waiting and they fucked up. You got like, fuck. You'll be having a jar on the bar in a moment. So. It's up in the half trick. 3.30. Jeez. It's on Monday. Well, that sucks. So, yeah. Tuesday, 10 for a 10. So, um, Green Rowan Hotel. Do you know how far I came to see your pub and have a pint? Or some beer, anyway? And it was your clothes on Mondays until half past three, three thirty in the afternoon. Who opens at three thirty in the afternoon? What's wrong with you? Anyway, thanks for nothing, Ned. You're going to be hearing from my people. They're going to get in touch with your people, and we're going to sort this out. All right. So thanks for having stupid opening hours on a Monday. Thanks for nothing, Mister Kelly. You prick. <laughs> Crab it. The five. It's Vladimir the Rose. Guaranteed loser. <laughs> it's a guaranteed loser. <laughs> I'm getting excited. We've got screwed up. I'm getting excited yes. there. If it got destroyed, what well, would have been classic if in, in celebrating you still the barrel and the screw up props for the That was down to me telling you what to put. But... Thank you, James. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been priceless if you spilled the beer on the ticket and then the ticket got voided. <laughs> <laughs> there is beer on the ticket anyway. Could be a... Sorry. Tastes better than me. It's a Sitting down, yeah. <laughs> 